गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एज ए पार्ट ऑफ डेली मेन्स प्रोग्राम फिफ्थ डे आई गेव यू थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर टू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दि इंडियन पॉलिटी एंड गवर्नेस टू क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दि एडिटोरियल पेज डेली एडिटोरियल पेज लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ दि फस्ट क्वेश्चन लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ दि फस्ट क्वेश्चन discuss the discuss why the fathers of our constitution have preferred west ministerial parliamentary democracy rather than presidential form of the democracy why our constitutional fathers preferred to the west ministerial form of the democracy rather than the presidential that is the us form of the democracy why you should discuss it not explanation discuss okay here task words is differ, different that's what the discuss it may be explanation explain but the discuss is more befitted okay that's why upsc is always that is why you should be always painstaking okay while recognizing the task word why upsc is always careful always okay sensitively it will give the word discuss okay what do you mean by discuss discuss is nothing but 360 degrees approach related to that issue main issue of that question what is the main issue why the constitutional fathers preferred the west ministerial form of democracy rather than presidential form of the democracy or prime ministerial or the uk type of the democracy rather than the yes why so you should discuss it discuss is nothing but 360 degrees approach social economical political cultural psychological and various aspects around 12 aspects are there but mostly social economic and political and cultural aspects are more important rather uh, uh, as far as this question is concerned okay socially economically politically cultural that is the more impo- more important so why the fathers of our constitution preferred the reasons are certain number 1 the first foremost important reason is the india 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 here india is not a simple name simple noun it's a more you should understand the concept of india the concept of india social economical political its cultural roots you should understand in that context i am using the word india okay india is experienced with this parliamentary type of the this west ministerial parliamentary type of the government for around two centuries in the british rule around two centuries in british rule for example the the actual parliamentary form of the government in india started in 1857 to up to 1940 around 1 190 years we had experience with this parliamentary form of the government that's the uk type of the government why should go for another practical approach why should we go for another practical already india accepted adopted and india ha- habituated in particular that's why the constitutional framers continued they prefer to continue what we have been for the last two centuries two centuries in 1947 okay that's one okay as far as this uh, this uh, preference of this this uh, parliamentary type of the government the constituent assembly around two years 11 months you know two years 11 months 1946 december to up to uh, november 26 1949 they deliberated this type for the deliberated extensively and intensively to in order to prefer this type of the government they intensively extensively discussed and finally gave assent to this type of the government number 2 and another important thing is this is the parliamentary type of the government uk type of the parliamentary type of the government is befitted to india's conditions what is the conditions of india social economical political and in general and the cultural or civilizational in particular what is the type of the condition indian society is a unique society it is a comp- complex and composite society where this can provide the huge representation socially see, see almost all types of the culturally and socially we have the almost all type of the races are there in india india is a ethnological museum in other words so this can give the preference to all can represent almost all races almost all 
caste, all communities, all geographical regions can be represented under this one because the parliamentary, the presidential form of the government, in the presidential form of the government, less representation is there. For example, in US. Okay, but whereas this prime ministerial type of the UK type of the presidential the parliamentary type of the government can provide a huge representation. This kind of representation is very important as far as the, our geographical condition, huge subcontinental in size. Okay, geographical and historically also India has been adopted to change not only this student, even from the Cholas from the South India onwards, we have been representing this huge representation is there from village onwards is there. So it can given, it can be provided this kind of representation, even culturally also, economically also, politically also. So it can provide more representation and be fitted compared to this US type of the presidential type of the government. That's what. Another important reason is India, this, this best ministerial type of the government where this despotism, despotism, that dictatorship, okay, attitude chances will be less compared to presidential form of the government okay that is another aspect another important most important thing is this uh, it is culturally also it can provide more representation to the people okay uh, now second part of the question do you think that their decisions is right in view of the last 70 73 years of experience we had already 73 years of the constitutional experience with west ministerial type of the government now it is the time to evaluate whether it is their decision is right or not Okay, uh, go to the last 73 years of the constitutional experience. What we should review. Okay, but do you think you should tell your view as if you are giving your opinion? But be careful. Okay, uh, you should give the priority. Okay, many people may prefer to presidential. Many people, more number of the people may prefer to presidential. But it we had the experience. We have the existing constitution should be careful that you should support it is better to support it okay of course if you you if you are in a position to substantiate whatever you are saying that is up to you but marks we need marks okay it is better to support whatever we have the existing process is there okay decision okay for the last 73 years indian constitution has been working consistently properly compared to other form of the governments Look at the, Ch the Pakistan, look at the ba Bangladesh and various constitutions. This Argentina, presidential form of the government, where they have been failed. Okay, compared to India, India has been living. India's constitution is also a living document. It has been working properly. It has been working commendably. So that's why it is their decision is right. Another thing is it is able to provide a huge representation. For example, there are around. 4073 MLAs are there, legislative assembly members, and around 793-98 members, both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, 245 and 545. Okay, this huge representation from uh, from various parts of the country, from various communities, from various background, religious group, everybody is is being elected to this one. That is the beauty of the Indian present parliamentary form of the government. So nobody is talking. Sometimes some people, whenever there is a political instability is there, okay, they are talking about the president because it is more, it can provide more stability rather than compared to this one. And uh, this uh, despotism, as far as despotism, dictatorship is government is coming. Except 1975 to 77. Never we face this kind of despotic attitude activities. So that is why this is the their decision is absolutely right, no doubt at all, and it's befitted to India's socio-economic, political, and cultural condition. Okay, we can't refute what they have taken. They they what they have taken decision in the form of decision in the form of referring to West Ministerial form of the government. It's a beautiful question to, towards 15 marks. Next second question. Unless India implemented 73rd and 74th constitutional amendments, 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment acts 1992 fully, comprehensively, Indian democratic system cannot be mature and inclusive. Explain. Word is explain. Explain is nothing but simply give reasons with the description. Give reasons with the description. That's what explain. 
ओके अनलेस इंप्लीमेंट दी सेवेंटी थर्ड सेवेंटी फोर्थ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट फुली इंडियन डेमोक्रेटिक सिस्टम कैन नॉट बी मेच्योर एंड इंक्लूसिव विच मीन द प्रेजेंट सो फार इंडिया येट टू बी बिकम मेच्योर एंड इंक्लूसिव दट्स वाट वी हेव टू एक्सेप्ट ये इट्स अ ट्रू इट येट टू बिकम इंक्लूसिव बिकॉज मोर वुमेन नॉट इंक्लूडेड सो जस्ट नाउ वी प्रिपेर्ड वी पास दिस वुमेन्स रिजर्वेशन इट शुड बी इंप्लीमेंटेड वी शुड बी वेटेड अंटिल टू थौजेंड ट्वेंटी नईन टू इंप्लीमेंट वुमेन नो ए नाट इंक्लूसिव नाट आल ग्रूप्स आर् इंक्लूसिव बिकॉज इंडियन स्क्यूड पोलीटिकल सिस्टम वेर कैस्ट बेस्ड पॉलिटिक्स आर देर डॉमेंट कैस्ट आर् कंट्रोलिंग दि पोलीटिकल पार्टी डॉमेंट फैमिली आर् कंट्रोलिंग दि पोलीटिकल पार्टी पोलीटिकल पार्टी आर् वेरी इंपारटेंट टू गिव रिप्रजेंट टू वेरियस सैक्शन आफ दि पीपल दट एंड इंडियन डेमोक्रेसी एट टू बी मेच्योर्ड बिकॉज लोकल गवर्नमेंट लेवल नाट मेच्योर्ड एट स्टेट लेवल नाट मेच्योर्ड बट एट सेंट्रल लेवल टू ए ग्रेट एक्सटेंट इट इज ए मेच्योर्ड पॉलिटी पॉलिटी आर देर but at various level maturity is different at various levels of democracy compared to the highly mature democracies uk scandinavian countries and america so unless we give implemented implemented proper the 74 73 we can't be matured and inclusive that's what you should give in why because as far as indian political system is concerned there are three layers of the democratic systems number one central government level state government level and local government level local village panchayats and municipalities and uh, jilla parishads etc etc three layer okay higher three hierarchical local government this is what indian democratic structure out of the democratic system but as far as central government highly matured quality is there to a great extent at the state level it to be matured 50% is okay but at local level no not properly implemented though we have the constitutional provisions in the form of 73 74 they yet to be implemented properly for example as far as 73 to article 243 to 243 z okay this municipality 74 to 243 z zp2 up to z z o this to around 243 article article 243 yet to be implemented okay every state has initiated democratic process local governance no doubt at all some in some state two layer in some state three layer in some state four layer no problem mostly three layered okay this direct this block level and jilla jilla parishad level at village level three layer but what about this one no frequent elections for every five years in some states and another aspect is state governments are reluctant to okay transfer the these powers to this 73rd 70 because this panchayats and municipalities they had to be transformed no state transfer the financial power so far include kerala that's what the look warm towards this one by the state government yet to be implemented no proper representation but in some state in recent years because of this central government for uh, by linking certain funds to this election process there has been a frequent elections at the local bodies but the thing is where is the powers and as far as the executive this is concerned they are elected directly elected by the local people the but the executive in the panchayats level the official dam is dominating the this one panchayats no self governments okay literally but on page there is a self governance that is the biggest trouble another important thing is this uh, why this yet to be matured and why not inclusive because 33% reservation is there for women no doubt at all compared to this state and national level it is a beauty compared to this one okay good but this who are controlling male people are controlling though women are representing representing directly because no proper execution another important aspect related to this one this uh, inclusive this grat rule what is the motive of this local self governance in the in indian democracy because once this implemented properly this local people will directly elect their representative among them for example this mla mps this in state and national level there are some some kind of indirectness is there okay may not people see the mlas mps frequently but those people are being elected in the local level they can visualize directly so one out of them they can see they can feel that is this government this democracy is working for us okay if they paid taxes the same taxes are being used at the local level they feel that our taxes are being used for us okay our people are representing us so there is a some kind of this democratic feeling is there but it is not happening that is why inclusiveness is very important maturity and inclusiveness the same people they will follow 
so in this way this unless we implemented this 70 or 74 the includes financial and frequency of the election the uh, lack of this uh, the official dump and elected representatives are working for themselves and uh, participating grassroots and also this uh, 73rd 74th constitutional amendments acts can ensure the people's participa participation at grassroots level unless this people's participation is there in socio economical program we can't achieve these real motives of any social program any developmental program is there we have a barrage of the developmental programs but the local participation is lacking that's why we are unable to achieve this various program that is what in 1952 balavantrai mehta committee in the, uh, which was appointed on the this implementation of black developmental program it is pointed out this one what this uh, local self governance will ensure the local participation since then it is a major important object of local self government is to ensure people participation in the socio economical developmental process of the which has been initiated by community which has been initiated by the government so these 73rd 74th amendments if properly implemented it ensures it ensures this maturity of the democracy until grassroots level okay it ensures the inclusiveness of almost all communities women and all gender and all communities all caste etc etc and also it can ensure the people's participation at grassroots level and it can eliminate the alienation so that we can alienate so wipe out the nuxels like uh, anti-social element tendencies in the nation especially in the northeastern nation central india tribal areas etc etc that is why proper implementation of 73rd and 74th constitutional amendments act is very very important it is essential to make our democratic intention to be fulfilled as expected by the our constitutional framework that's what we have to write down next third important question related to this one is it is uh, i adopted from the this newspaper what do you mean by the caste based census okay describe its related controversy do you support it justify your answer do you support it there are three sub parts are there 250 words question okay uh, this one of the important news and the editorials of all the daily for the last few months recently one month back the bihari bihari government has released a caste based census you know according to bihar government's uh, census caste based census in that state around 62 percent come under the obcs obcs okay around 20 percent sts st people out of 62 32 extremely power extremely backward 27 percent backward caste obcs particularly this caste based census to point out the the people's ratio in the entire population of the country this has been a demand even the india group led by added by the you know, indian national congress is promised to conduct caste based census once it comes into power so it is the major issue in entire country in every state opposition parties are supporting ruling parties are opposing mostly why because this caste based census because there are consequences far reaching consequences will be there like mandal commission it changed the entire this social political uh, landscape of the na nations in the 90s so it may create some seismic shift in indian political system once this caste based census conducted and released okay related mostly related to obc population backward caste population so what do you mean by caste based census okay the caste based census is a census which uh, which can include a questionnaire related to to enumerate the caste population according to caste especially obcs but so far sc sts are there but the remaining is not available in indian these conditions india is going to conduct its next 16th census in 2024 immediately after the election 16th census it's a digital census as well where this question is an option because the present ruling establishment is rejected to conduct the caste based census okay this is what caste based census is nothing but to include to include a questionnaire related to enumeration of the caste okay that is what especially obcs describe its related controversy that's what i told you. earlier every party is opposing especially ruling parties opposition parties especially india groups and it's around 16 um, coalescence a coalescence already promised this caste based the one it one it 
comes into power okay this is what next do you support it that is the most important issue justify your answer justify if you are so if your answer is yes you should justify why if your answer is no you should justify why you are no but it is a major controversial issue but you have to take a stand but you may take a stance that is a balanced stance okay what i advocate you is do you support it it is better to give the negative effects and positive effects finally you should take a chance okay that's what just listen to me carefully do you support it justify your answer because this is whatever the stand that you have taken that in accordance with the constitution in accordance with the, our upsc pulse see look at as far as my mind is concerned do you support it justify i don't want to take any stand before discussing okay just uh, discuss like this for consequences this caste based census okay already indian society is a caste segregated society in most of the occasion especially politically so if you conducted this caste based census okay it is further segregate the society based on the caste line it is not over well for the socio economic and and the cultural unification of the nation okay that is why this caste based census is not good similarly this obc caste this caste based political parties will be strengthened so that is not over well for the indian social social democracy and caste based segregation is not it will create more harm and more violent activities based on the caste based politics and socio economic pattern across the country that's why it is not good but however if you could not conduct this one people will still so we are coming to negative side positive side this people are demanding caste based because there is a some kind of feeling that some caste are getting less representation in the especially in the uh, affirmative process that is the reservation there is a some kind of alienation especially among the obcs there is a some misconception based on some surveys and misconception obcs are are around up to 60 percent of the population of the country but they will have only 27 percent of the reservation and even in this obc is also most extremely backward caste also there they are representing less and recently the government of india has initiated ebc so ebcs are more forward compared to ebcs they are getting more important reservation than obc there is some kind of feelings are there so once we conducted this caste based reserve this census so things will be revealed and this misconception will be dispelled so that the government of india will take up the various important socio economic this initiation socio economic developmental initiative as per their representation so it will be very important for the nation but however this will create negative effects for reaching negative that's what segregation based on the caste lines fault line so in this aspect there are benefits there are demerits also there but however whatever that te- that taken this social before the going to discuss about this one especially politics okay political parties should think over that issue based on this negative side and positive side effects if they should not make it politicized they should not make it politicized but the, it will be more beneficial but less instead of this caste based they have to find out that they have to convince to unification of the nation and developmental sweeping socio economic developmental program that is a universal health program universal educational program to make in a way to make the reservation process in irrelevant so that we can unified nation so in that way our stand is it is a great it's okay this one we should not take a clear cut stand that is a, your your yes or no answer but think discuss both sides and take a, a line suggest to nation so that is the is the pains taking approach is important because it is more controversial examiner may not accept if it is yes or no so it is better to take the blend both balanced approach that's what important thank you very much